إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد يقول شيخ الإسلام ابن تيمية رحمه الله من أراد الله سبحانه وتعالى به خيرا فلا بد إلا وأن يفقهه في الدين لا بد إلا وأن يفقهه في الدين ومن لم يرد الله به خيرا لم يفقهه في الدين استنادا إلى قول الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم من يرد الله به خيرا يفقهه في الدين حديث that is an encouragement for those who want goodness in their life and a warning for those who don't care much about their life which means they actually focus on their life but they ignore what really takes care of their life religion <coughs> obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala understanding the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is what guarantees you a good life in this life and the hereafter Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah said if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intends good for his slave, definitely he will grant him the understanding of the religion. Makes him understand the halal, understand the haram, and makes him scared of transgressing against the commands. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't intend good for the slave, he makes him ignorant of the religion, not understanding the religion. And pay attention to yufaqihu fi deen, fiqh, understanding. You know what you're saying, you know what you're doing, you know what is halal, and you know what is haram. This understanding elevates you to become from the scholars that who truly have khashya, which is a higher level of fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fear is when you fear something without even knowledge. Khashya is when you fear or love based on knowledge. Innama yakhsha Allah min ibadihi al-ulama. Ulama are the true people who really fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or who have khashya because they know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his names and attributes. They know his power. They know his capability. They know his wisdom. They know his knowledge. And they know his mercy and all of that. So they are the one who really fear when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Tilka hududullah fala ta'atadooha. Tilka hududullah fala ta'atrabooha. These are the boundaries of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't get near it. Those are the boundaries of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't transgress it. They know that, so they keep away. So Ibn Taymiyyah here is, is guiding us. Look at the hadith. مَا يُرِدِ اللَّهُ بِهِ خَيْرًا خَيْرًا نَقْ الْخَيْرِ Al-Khayr is a specific goodness. Khayran, it is nakira. Nakira, يعني not a specific thing, means all khayr. يعني you can pass in your school. You can excel in your work. You can have a healthy body. You can have money. You can have hasanat. You can have everything simply because this is the result of you understanding what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from you, especially He created you for worship. It's so silly that you know you're here for worship and you don't know how to worship or you don't know what you're worshiping with. 
or you don't understand what you're saying or what you're doing. It doesn't fit you. Look at the hasanat that you get. Look even, even at the time of fighting. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَا كَانَ وَمَا كَانَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ يَنْفِرُوا كَافَ فَلَوْ لَنَفَرَ مِنْ كُلِّ فِرْقَةٍ مِنْهُمْ طَائِفَةٌ لِيَتَفَقَّهُوا فِي الدِّينِ وَلِيُنْذِرُوا قَوْمَهُمْ إِذَا رَجَعُوا إِلَيْهِمْ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَحْذَرُونَ So even the time of fight, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, let not all the believers go. Let some stay behind and understand the religion. So when they come back, they will give them the glad tidings and the warnings in the religion so they will be aware of it and they will heed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and into the Jannah. So he joined Yatafaqahu and Yundiru. They would understand to warn. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his first word, and thar tukumun nar, and thar tukumun nar, and thar tukumun nar. I'm warning you from hellfire. I'm warning you from hellfire. I'm warning you from hellfire. First words of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. His warning is based on knowledge. He is the Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when you have the knowledge of the religion, then you should warn other people, which means you should make da'wah. And this is what that was all about. You give the glad tidings and you give the warning based on knowledge. So this hadith is a huge hadith. Uh, picture some of the students focusing on all subjects and ignoring Quran and Islam and yeah, no, just get a passing grade in it. Because it's not a core subject or it's not something that we have to pay attention. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling you all the khair is in it. If you get a straight A on it and you understand it, you will get good grade on the other subject. You will get a better university. You will have a healthy body. You will fulfill all the dreams that you want if you focus on what you created for. A lot of people don't think of it this way because they just think, oh, you know, just get this grade or that grade or memorize that surah or not memorize. What's the big deal? If your parents are not encouraging you too much, you just do whatever you can. Understand this hadith. May yuridi Allahu bihi khayran yufaqihu fi al-deen. Stand in the front of the mirror and say, Did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intend good for me or not? Am I from those who understand the religion? Or at least am I on the path of those who understand religion so I can understand it? If you are either one of those, then this hadith meant you. If you're not, then unfortunately Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put me on the side. This hadith tells you, the scholars said, like the Binawi and other uh, scholars, they said that this is the ta'zim. Yani Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is telling you basically if you're not trying to understand your religion, you're not going to get anything good from me. This is how ta'deem, yani it's like all the goodness lies in this. You created for this, so work on this. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, مَنْ عَمِلَ صَالِحًا مِنْ ذَكَرٍ أَوْ مُنْتَهُ وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنْ فَلَنُحْيِيَنَّهُ حَيَاةً طَيِّبًا وَلَنَجْزِيَنَّهُمْ أَجْرَهُمْ بِأَحْسَنِ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُوا You believe and you understand and you act upon, then guaranteed you'll have a good life. What good life means? Everything you desire in this life is good. I want to be healthy. I want to not necessarily be rich, but I want to be content. I want to be happy. I want to be successful. I want to have righteous family, righteous children. All of that from the Hayat Ayyuna. That is guaranteed. And and you will get your reward also in the hereafter. This is because you understood the religion, you acted on the religion, and you called for the religion. So pay attention to this hadith one more time. May you Be on that path, inshallah. 
Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to put you on that deen and understanding that deen. Insha'Allah you will have a wonderful life and a wonderful era. Jazakumullah khayr. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Assalamu alaykum.